Hi, welcome to the first ever Digital Earth Week. Due to the COVID-19 virus, I am coming to you from no other place than my very own backyard. My name is Patty Pell. I'm the administrator at Contra Costa RCD. The mission here at Contra Costa RCD is to conserve and oversee the stewardship of our natural resources within the county. In order to do so, we are all about recycling. The four re R's of recycling are reduce, recycle, reuse, and rot. Today, I am going to concentrate on the fourth R, rot. This is composting made simple. My background is not in science at all. As I mentioned, I am the administrator. I am not a biologist. I am not a hydrologist. I am not an herbologist. Um, so this is the non-scientific. There will be no pH reading. There is no plastic bins to rotate our compost. It's only piles. There's four piles involved, so stay tuned for the four piles by Patty. So come on inside and I will show you how it all begins. Hi, thank you for joining me in my kitchen. This is where the magic begins. As I mentioned, I keep it very simple. So I only use fruit and vegetable scraps. There are many other things you can add to your compostable, your organic compostable. Um, check your website if you'd like to see a list, but here's an example that comes from Republic Services of all the organics that can be compostable. But what I do is I keep it, my little bin here off to the side, and as I'm cutting vegetables or fruit, I just throw the scraps right into here, and when it's full, I take a trip out to the backyard and put it in the piles. Why don't you come join me? I'll show you how it's done. Okay, as I mentioned, as soon as my bin is full, I just walk it out to the compost. And out here, as you can see, we have four different piles. I'm all about piles. And that pile over there is where we're putting the current compost that will be next year's compost to use. So that's all breaking down, as you can see. And over here is last year's compost that we will use for this year's planting. And then we just have leaves. Um, when we get energetic and feel like raking up some leaves, we pile them here. That way we can add those into the compost pile for more carbon as well. And then grass, same thing there. When we're energetic and we actually mow the lawn, we will just put the gr grass clippings there and then turn those into the pile as well. So I have my bin full of scraps. I throw it right on there. And then just looking at that pile, it's obvious to me that it's kind of clumpy, so it needs some carbon on there. So I will turn it, and you know how it is in Contra Costa County, we have that adobe soil. So we add, add some amendments, add some of that, and turn them in. Put them into the compost. We will add, I am probably not the one to be demonstrating this, and we will add some grass, because remember, I'm the administrator. <laughs> we will add grass as well to get that to break down a little better and not be as clumpy. Okay. Plus, I'm not sure you'd want to wear flip. So over here, we have our new compost for this year's planting, and I will show you how that's done. Okay, and here we have the brown gold. Now this is what's left from last year's compost. We've used a lot now since we've been home and working on our backyard a lot. And how we just use this to fertilize the plant. So we just take a little bit, and then we sprinkle it right on top. We've got some berry plants over here that we'll just sprinkle on to add some nutrients. We also use these in new plantings, and we'll just dig a hole like you would normally would, and then we'll put a little layer of that before we put the plant in. Okay, and then this is what your pile will look like when you've mixed it all together. And remember, this is next year's compost. 
Okay, and another possibility you could do is contact your local arborist and have them deliver and drop off free chips. And then you can use this for compost itself in the very bottom. It starts decomposing all by itself and you can throw that into your co compost for carbon um, as well. And on top you've got the larger chips so you can use those for ground cover to help eliminate some of the weeds, hopefully. And if you remember correctly, at the beginning I mentioned there were additional two that we at the RCD support. What are the other two? They are Refuse and Rethink. Refuse to purchase products that cause harm to our environment or adds to the ever-growing recycling products. Do you need that single product? And Rethink. Rethink your buying practices especially during this time of the quarantine when we're cleaning out our rooms, cleaning our houses. Do we really need all those products that we have? Rethink single-use products. Is there something that we can use that will be multi-use and we could use again? It's a perfect time to rethink the effect of our actions on the environment. Well, I hope I've shown you how simple composting can be so you can take advantage of our fourth R and let your food scraps rot. This will produce brown gold for you. It's always available. It'll help the environment eliminate some waste and help improve your plants. So to conclude, I just encourage you during this time of quarantine to rethink. Rethink how we spend our time, what products we purchase, and the effects we have on our environment. The RCD encourages you to consider the many and easy ways you can join us with our conservation efforts right here in the county. So go compost, make your own brown gold, use this time to nurture yourself and your family in your yard. Hope to see your pictures of your beautiful and healthy plants on our Facebook page. Stay well and we at the RCD hope to see you at one of our events soon.